Hello to everyone, welcome to my first video in this channel, Chain 1 Stitch by Mitch. I am Mitch and thank you so much for clicking into this video. I started to crochet when I was in elementary. Our teacher teach us to crochet in the simple basic things, so single crochet, uh, double crochet and uh, yeah basically that. And while I was growing up uh, I go back and forth with crocheting. I start and then I stop again and then I start again and I stop and I start and I stop and start. <laughs> That's why I define myself more on the beginner side, but not really a beginner. I don't know if it makes sense. So I start crocheting again since last December when I decided to uh, crochet a table run for Christmas because I can't search anywhere here in Thailand a table runner that I want. So I make it by myself and crocheting. And since then, I didn't stop crocheting things like this is the first time that I really truly go with all the projects and finish all the projects that I have in mind and I'm just thinking that doing a video that I'm talking about all the items the things that I crochet since last December until now it's something that maybe in the future when I will be uh, watching back I can see my old improvements. So I'm here today to showing you all the things that I crochet until now. Guys, I forgot all the skin and yarns that I use for all these items. So I will be put here down below in the description box. For any kind of question, leave a comment down below, guys, because I want to build a really good crocheting community here on YouTube and I'm so excited to meet you guys, to talk with you guys, to learn with you guys everything that is about crocheting. I'm randomly picking some stuff. The table run guys, uh, it's uh, in a box that guys, I cannot <laughs> bring it back because it's really fitted in uh, one box and I don't want to be mess again so uh, probably if I can found the picture I will post it here a little bit disclaimer there is only one thing that I follow a pattern guys the other things I did by myself so imagine every time doing rows 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 and then just uh, going back and yeah it was a mess but at the end i'm pretty satisfied with the finish so let's start randomly and i just want to pick yeah i will show you this so uh this one it's um airpod case this one is the final one and guys this is the, the airpods uh, i think a generation 3 if i'm not wrong yeah but basically it's like this and uh, it has also a hole here for uh, the charger and i made it three times so this was the first time and it was so big you can see it's bigger i was so excited that i follow a video tutorial on youtube without uh, thinking about that the case is different so I made it big and then I made this one but I wasn't really satisfied guys because it's like it's uh, always fell off or everything so I remade it everything that I made it's in one day guys so I remade from the beginning and this one was the last I think the measurements I don't know if you can see the measurements it's really good it fits and stuck really good and I just uh, um, and I just bought these uh, metal things that I'm not satisfied how I sew but yeah I can improve of this so this is the first things um, this is one of the things that I crochet and then let's go I crochet also this one it's a bottle bag and the the reason why I crochet a bottle bag it's because sometimes when I go out with my daughter I don't want to bring all the stuff and sometimes uh, 
it happens that I have to bring a big bag because I have to fit a bottle of water inside so I make a bottle of water that I just bring with me and just bring a small bag with my phone my keys and tissue uh, the essential things in a simple small bag so I made this one but I'm thinking to uh, doing uh, another one with maybe a different yarn because this one it's a male cotton yarn and it's really stretchy so it stretched really really too much I think or maybe I did uh, too much rose for a uh, bottle of water but yeah I use this one every time I go out at the park with my daughter so another thing that I made with this bralette that I didn't really uh, finish yeah you can see here it's a quite a mess here holds it's a mess but basically um, I thought that the measurement of the cup that I uh, that I measure by myself it fits really well but after I wear this for the whole day it stretched too much and then my mm, boobs <laughs> go around <laughs> so I think I have to remake this bralette with a small size and I think I did too much rows for the boobs that it doesn't cover really well I mean it's not that it doesn't cover really well but it doesn't uh, push up really well my uh, boobs and I think I have to also sew uh, a cup here because I saw I watch a lot of YouTube videos so I have to uh, trying uh, another different uh, bralette or bra cup things yeah so I make this one it's really good if you just uh, took a picture for shooting or something but going around uh, it's, it's not really comparable another thing that I did this was I think my first yeah one of the the first thing that I uh, push it is this one this vest and also this vest guys how many times I redid I redid is this one and yeah I like the finish the only thing that maybe I have to change for the next vest that I want to make is this part I don't really like my part here now because I gain weight so I decide to make it really um, really big here but it's like uh, my um, bodybuilder <laughs> so um, maybe next time I will do it this vest in another with uh, more chain here maybe start from here that here under the armpits yeah and going up so this one is like this yeah but i love it i love how it's uh, fit on me and it's really comfortable it's not too much you know fitted on my uh breast and everything i uh love to wearing this with the shorts denim shorts and yeah I love it another thing is this bag that I never wore and I don't think if I'm going to wearing this bag I don't know why I made it maybe because I want something like this but I don't know it's something that I have to change something I don't know what so if you have any idea how to enhance this work this project leave a comment here down below because I want to know how can I change something and make it better but anyway I love the color guys I really love the color uh, maybe I did in a small way maybe I need more big or maybe I have to put just a bottom here uh, this okay this is the first thing that I crochet even before the table run because I found a yarn uh, at the mall but it it's like acrylic something it's really rushy it's like um, soap sponge 
I don't know. I don't know how to explain the feeling. But I made this for my baby daughter, and uh, it's a granny square for. And the twin is really cute. She love it to you know uh, playing with uh, um, her toys and her things. Uh, another thing that I do because I can't found a really uh, laptop bag, laptop cover. How did you call the laptop things to put the laptop inside? I made it one. So I made this simple one with this color that I love. So you have multicolor in the front and at the back it's a monocolor. And basically you have the laptop here. To just put the laptop inside and yeah, I did in this one. I have to put a button, I think button even here guys. Yeah, something like that. So it's so cute in that you're proud to have and you're the only one have like something like this so i love it one thing that i made is this basket bag uh the first thing uh when i was imagining this basket bag it was like a bag for me but it turns that it's really small so i make it like a basket bag when i just put uh, uh the projects that i'm uh, working on so i'm working on on this tank top it's the uh, it's not done it's almost done so i will not show you everything but yeah it's a tank top i will show you on the next video and this is the basket bag it's like this we are almost done and another thing so my daughter start preschooling here near our place every week they have different activities and two weeks ago it was like winter snow and the teacher requests us to bring some beanie some sweater gloves uh, everything that it's related for winter but here in thailand guys i don't want you know i don't want to uh, buy things that I know Asia will not wear in here with this hot weather and I prefer that for school I make something cool for her that no one has and so I did this beanie with this two pon pon and I'm making this color and I tell you why but anyway this was my first time to make a beanie and you can see because i don't know what happened here <laughs> but anyway you can just cover because once you uh turning the beady is really cute so i used two different yarn for this and i love it guys it's something that i know for sure she will be wearing even in a week really winter weather Sorry guys. But anyway, I love it so much. It's so cute. With this beanie, I decide instead of using, uh, instead of making a, a winter scarf or globes, I make a sweater. I love it so much. And I hope Asia can wear this when we'll be back in Italy on winter or at least uh, autumn or spring because it's so cute i make also a post on instagram and other people said that it's so cute but yeah it's really cute i make this sweater for her i don't know if you can see the color can you see the color of this sweater it's so cute so cute it's so so cute the details and everything that i made i'm so proud of this uh, it's something that i'm so excited to tell to my daughter when she will be growing up and maybe see a picture of her or uh, when i'm telling her about her preschooling journey that i made this sweater for her in 48 hours guys <laughs> I was so mad because I don't know how to figure it out because this one it doesn't have any pattern I didn't follow any pattern and I have to make it a tons of time this shoulder part 
and yeah but i figured it out and i'm so happy with the finish and i'm so happy i will be posting a picture here when she's wearing the sweater and the beanie at the school at the preschooling and yeah i'm so cute it's so cute and it's so easy guys make it the uh, um things for kids because it's so small instead of maybe adults making cardigan for adults making uh, shorts top uh, sweater vest everything for adults it's really 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 hard and takes a long long time instead of the kids so the first things that i made for me it was this um uh, raglan sweater but uh, I decide to uh, doing like a shirt t-shirt a crop crop top shirt t-shirt like this and yeah it, the color doesn't convince me maybe you have to do in a neutral color because guys I love neutral color and red color but this one I don't know why I choose this color because I don't know I don't know why I choose this color. I don't know why I ordered this color for this cotton yarn. So yeah, but I love it. I love with, I love to wearing uh, crochet things, crochet uh, vest, um, anything with uh, denim, denim pants, denim shorts, denim skirt. And I made also this for my daughter, then I don't know where I put. Let me just bring it. <laughs> Guys, I don't know where I put the one that I made for my daughter. But I just make it a picture here so you can see. It's the same thing just for uh, kids. And the color is the same. Everything is the same. It's just for kids. And it took me like one day to make it because it's really, 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 really easy. Let's go with the other things that I made for my daughter and it's this mask, how did you call it? chain mask, something, I make it really simple, orange, red, and this one was the first one that I uh, made it too long so I just, you know, make it like this and basically it's chain on the mask and it's really cute so every time uh, she decides which one she wants to wear every time I want to make more so she can wear everything she wants and choose which color she wants guys this is the one of the I I'm proud of all the item that I did that I crochet guys because I mean I start December it is the end of the January so in two months I crochet all of these things but the one that took me about two weeks to make it I was inspired with this cardigan by Erin Reiko Erin B on uh, it's Erin B on YouTube the name is Erin B join me how I love this cardigan that I made and guys for the shoulder is the same things I was so crazy because I made it too long and the red was too long it was weird looking weird so I uh, just um, start to uh, from all the things here even was the shoulder was finished it was so crazy but I made it and I love it do you love it I love it guys and it's in a cotton yarn so it's not really even it's hot here I can wear it here at the mall or inside the car or when I grocery and uh, I love it guys I love it I make it a post on Instagram and so follow me there and I love it I'm so proud of this at the first I was really in doubt guys because you know um, tribes make it you more chubby and I already more chubby I want to hide my fats even I have to be, you know, um, proud of my body and everything, loving my body, but it's not that case. 
but anyway I was in doubt with the stripes but it turning looks so good if I have to make another cardigan for sure I will make it a uh, mono monochrome monochrome or at least a little bit stripes here at the end I'm about to do um, run square cardigan because I ask on Instagram and people choose one the granny square cardigan they want me to do just waiting the yarn i ordered the yarns and yeah i'm so excited guys and it's something that i will do in a video here on youtube for sure so stay tuned guys and yeah so this is the last one i think yeah i also um wants to do one cardigan for my daughter because she asked me she said mommy where is mine i said okay let's do also for you and yeah so i will be doing also a cardigan for my daughter and yeah that's it as of now guys and i'm so excited that i make it a new video in this new youtube channel i hope you really like it all the items that i did and i'm so excited for the future to make it more and at the end of this year watching all the videos and see how much i improve with the crochet and the other things so if you want to know more about all the single piece that i made leave a comment here down below and maybe i will make another video when i explain all the process all the steps really quick and also guys in the next video i will be starting the temperature blanket it's something that uh, i'm so excited and i want really to make it but it's not a blanket so it's a temperature blanket but not a blanket so stay tuned for the next video will be on next week and as of now guys thank you so much for watching this video don't miss to uh, follow me and also follow me on my social media on instagram so thank you so much and see you on the next bye